Hello, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to you and welcome to Let's Build. And welcome to part three of Rain the Rainbow Residence. Um, we're going to be carrying on with the exterior today. Things have changed majorly. I've gone through a whole different look and I much prefer it. It's a bit, um, I don't know. Someone described it perfectly in the comments. It's as if a children's drawing of a house has came to life and they like it. <laughs> so I was like, that's actually the perfect description for this. So um, we're going to go along that line. I've actually made the house completely rainbow, but pastel rainbow. Got rid of the red. It was looking a little bit too saturated. You probably noticed that in the thumbnail last time. It's, I just wasn't feeling it. Was not feeling it. Um, I've added two sims as well. I've added two sims to the Rainbow Residence that you guys have obviously made. Um, what we'll do in a minute, we'll flop on over. I'll introduce you to them and then we'll crack on with the build. I think today what we're going to be doing is mainly the back garden area and more exterior work and landscaping and stuff. Um, and then what I'm going to do is do a bit off of camera tomorrow. Um, and then we'll come to... And then I'll show you. Yeah. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into game. Okay, my darlings. The first sim moving in is this beautiful sim here called Ramona Pinkerton. Pinkerton, which I just absolutely love her. She's absolutely iconic. She's looking for a soulmate. She's a bit gloomy and she's an insider. So we maybe need to get her into a group of some kind of thing. This is done by the Plum Bob Show. Now, I'm sure I've used another one of your sims before. Really, really love. Really, really love her. I think she's great. Um, Ramona found life hard enough liking boys in a conservative family. And when her mum caught her wearing dresses, her whole life changed forever. Shipped away to a conversion therapy facility on the outskirts of Strangerville, she was treated terribly until one day a barmy lady snuck up to her and offered her freedom. Ramona was extremely sceptical at first. But they grew a bond, enough for Ramona to sneak out and hide away at the Rainbow Residence in a loving home. So I I just absolutely loved that story. Um, and I loved the look of the sim as well. I think she's absolutely iconic and I'm here for her. Look at those cute freckles. Absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, The Plum Bob Show. That is the first sim moving in today. And the next sim moving in is this beautiful lady here, Sage. Sage, I forgot her surname. It doesn't say it here, I don't think. Where is it? No. No, I remember her. She had a really nice surname as well. But anyway, she's Ego Sage. This is done by Stubble. Stubble17. Um, Sage Quinn. <laughs> it's answered it for me. Right there, darlings. Right there. So Sage Quinn, a pansexual. We need a little bit of pansexual representation. So that's exactly why I loved the story and loved the look of the sim as well. A pansexual has been part of the Rainbow House since she was a child. Before she lived there, Sage loved all things fantasy and out of the world. She often ranted about her theories and studies on different occults to her abusive single father, none of which he believed. Her constant need for an accepting place to say led her to the Rainbow House, which just happens to be located in a town where other life forms abide. I loved that. Absolutely loved that. And she, she's there, they're iconic. They're iconic, both of these sims. So thank you so much, Stubbles. If you do want to go and download these sims, guys, it's the Plum Bob Show on the gallery and Stubbles 17. So head on over and get them into your game because I love them. Get an out your tits. Okay, darlings, here we are. <laughs> it's a little bit more colourful than last time. Um, I like it. I do. It's not my style to build in at all. Um, too cutesy cutesy for me but I think it's a fun looking house um, and I like all these colour combos together rather than the saturated oh that's that sun again I love that shot rather than the saturated red that we had on the tower area I've gone for the orange instead just to mute it down slightly um, but I do like it and around the back it's pretty much the same as well just a different kind of reflection of colors and i've also got that mod that you guys let me know about with the foundations which has brightened up my foundations considerably i so prefer that so thank you so much to you guys who've said about that this was from a brazilian creator i will link it down below in the description and um, it's just an overhaul mod that you put into your game and it just brightens up the foundations lovely and yeah we're absolutely here for it. iconic love it let's go 
Right, so I've obviously put some stairs in as well since last time. Um, I've also put some fences up here. I've changed this roof shape slightly here just so that it's got like a lip hang um, to stop water from going on the window, you know, realism and all that. We're trying to keep up with that. Um, and I've also got rid of this fence here. Reasons being, I think this lot, and I've seen a couple of you guys say it as well, perfect for a swimming pool. So I think what I'm going to do is do a swimming pool like around here. And then I'm going to have the kind of growing area around here. Maybe even wrapping around to the front of the build here. Like that could be quite cool. I want it to kind of be quite farm-esque looking. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to go about doing that just yet. Right. My thoughts were because I'm not, um, I want to, I don't want them to have to walk down here to then get up another level. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put a, a platform around here, I think housing where the swimming pool is so let's start that now shall we let's do it together how are you lot how are you all doing it was storming loads earlier where i am um oh i'm gonna have to get rid of that bloody curve aren't i can i just boost it out i think i can oh, i was gonna do no i can't <laughs> definitely can't Aiden. <laughs> um yeah it was a massive storm here earlier uh it's a bit scary won't lie won't lie to you i think that will work now yeah, no, it does not. No. Um, I think what I need to do is just put a square platform on it. Let me just sort this out first. There we go. That was very easy. I didn't even need to um not stop recording because it was done. Um, but yeah, massive thunderstorm. So I got scared and turned my PC off. <laughs> Cause I'm so scared in storms about my PC, like um getting fried from like the electrical. Not that we get met much fork lightning really in the UK. But you can never be too safe, loves. And I'm not about it. And I've yes, I am getting a new PC. But my new PC is probably not going to be ready for a couple months. Um, So if I did fry my PC, the one I have currently, I would be fucked. I really would. And we would not be here for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, grr. Okay, I might actually just drag this to here. What about if I try and do like a a circular pool? Hmm, and I'm unsure about this wood now. I may tile it. I may tile it out the back. I don't know. We're going to leave it like that for the minute anyway. Right, I'm going to try and do a cool shaped pool. Um, Now, I know there's many tutorials out there. Just kind of get circular looking pool. Kate Emerald being the queen of tutorials. So if you ever need a tutorial on things, definitely check out Kate for her tutorials because she is amazing. And uh, yeah, she will teach you lots of things. This looks a bit phallic. I won't lie. It does look semi phallic, but we're going to go for it. We really are lovely. Okay, now I'm going to go and find the object that I need to kind of make this just look a little bit more circular around the pool. So, when I put this trim on, I actually liked the shape of the pool. I like the shape of the pool, so I'm not going to make it look too circular at all. I kind of, I'm kind of happy with how it looks, to be honest. What I may do, though, is just extend it just slightly, just to make it a little bit bigger. So, I'm going to come up a little bit more. It looks like a peen, it's a peen pool. A peen pool, everybody. I'm wondering if I should curve the edges here as well. Hmm. I kind of want to. I do kind of want to now. And I know I went to that trouble of getting rid of this, but I'm thinking about maybe having stairs on this side up to this area. No, no, we're not going to do that. But I am going to curve the edges of this, which I probably will need to just move the pool just for the minute. Can you? Can I fit you in anywhere over here, darling? Oh, come on. Oh, no. My game. Stop it. Stop it. Go on. Slide in. Oh, Christ. Why am I so filthy? I have no idea. Okay. Maybe not then. Can I do that with the pool then? Ooh. No, no, no. Should have done that before you put... Oh! Oh, Jean-Claude, you can. Oh, well, that's a new thing. I didn't know you could do put platforms on and change the shape when the pool was there. Well, there we go. I've learned something new today, loves. Learned something new and I'm for it. Also, gone for this. I prefer this than the wood. Much prefer that with the house. I really do. I may change the orientation of it though. Um, and go that way. 
Nah. Nah, screw that. No, we won't. We'll just keep it the same as what it is. There we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then by putting this fence up as well. All the way across. Stunning. Um, I am going to have access off to the edge here. So I may just copy these stairs over and do a, couple, a few of these stairs right by the pool there. Right by the pool edge. I mean, they're not going to be able to use that for anything other than getting down anyway. So we're not wasting space, which is stunning. Oh, yes. I want to make this pool look a little bit kitsch. So maybe like a, a fake palm tree or something nearby. Haven't they got like a... Oh, no, that's the paddling pool. I was just thinking, haven't they got an object that's got that on? But it's a paddling pool. Never mind. We can do something with that. Don't you worry. Um. Okay. Mm, I always struggle at find. Oh, there it is. Just about to say, I always struggle at finding this, but I struggle at finding everything in The Sims, to be honest with you. What can I say? Right, we are changing the colour of the water, though, just to make it look a little bit more like a swimming pool. And I will go inside with some um, real blue tiles just to give it that. Yes. Again, yes. And the interior, I'm thinking about going kind of 50s in a lot of the places because I would imagine Mama Rita, M Mama, Mama Rita, that is her favourite era. She loves the 50s, so she's very much about the kind of 50s housewife look. So I kind of want to go for that in in the interior as well. What do you feel about that, loves? I think you'll be for it. Um, No, that's very Sims 1, isn't it? <laughs> it's kitsch, but we don't want to go major kitsch, you know? I just want a bit of a darker tile at the bottom. Yeah, that's cool. Do I want to do that? Or do I like that? No, I prefer that. Well, forget I said anything. Forget I bloody said anything. Right, okay, pool. So, what I want is a ladder coming down here. Lovely. Yeah, off to that side there. That's perfect. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe put the drainage in first. Where are you, darling? You're usually here. Where are you? It's because I've got my debug thing on. Okay. Um, I think this one's for the... Is this for the outdoors or the in? We're going to put it in there. That's a plug. A plug for the swimming pool. Just to let all the scabby water out and get, when it gets full of wee. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody in this household will be peeing in the pool. But you never know, you know? You never know. This house is absolutely screaming out for some flamingos in the garden as well, I think. I think it is. And it would only be right that we put them in. You know? You know. Um, guys, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight as well, playing through The Beast Inside, which is a horror game we've been playing. Or we started the last stream. Um, oh my god, it was great. Really, really spooky. So I'm really looking forward to playing that later on tonight with you guys. Because we just have a scream on stream. We really do. So I'm for it. Um, oh, could have added a diving board in. Could have added... Di I wish we just had a normal like diving board that kind of just goes over the edge of the pool. And then the Sims walk on it rather than those ugly like tower ones that we've got. I'm not for these. I'm really not. Um, I mean, it might be quite fun to put it there though. We've got lots of kids in this household. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to move... Oh no, I'll keep that under there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, why not? You know, why not? Why not indeed? Okay. And I think either side here, I think it needs a nice light on either side here. So the lighting, I'm going to go for a nice, like, um, Victorian lantern looking one. Um, yeah, like this. Is that the one I want to go for? I think it is. Yeah, no, that's perfect. One there. One there. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I think either side here. We need some topiary bushes. I think it would look lovely. Again, a little bit kitsch. And I like that. Do we want to go for that kind of topiary? Or should we go for just a single? Oh, we'll go for a single one. Oh, that's a good colour. That's a good swatch as well. We'll keep that swatch. And one there. And maybe one in the middle. Right next to this drain. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
And I think there I'm going to put uh, just a bench. Just a nice generic outdoor bench. Um, uh, it would probably need to be a like a bit of a kitschy colour maybe. So maybe I could do a pink or even a yellow. Yeah, yellow. Put a yellow there with a little table next to it as well. Maybe Mama Rita comes out and keeps an eye on the kids while they're in the pool. I would imagine that would be her personality doing it that way. That's for sure. Um, and just an outdoor table. Oh, maybe this one. Doesn't need to be any kitschy colour. It's very big, isn't it? <laughs> it's very huge, but we're going to do it anyway. Yes, yeah, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not as hyper as yesterday, but I'm still quite hyper. Yesterday, I was absolutely on one. I was on one, but I've just had a nice chill day today. So I'm probably more chilled today than I was yesterday. Just got these chilled, relaxed vibes going on, you know. You know how it goes. Love being chilled. <laughs> I do. I love that chill feeling. It's lovely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this area as it is. Again, this house is massive. So I want to add in detail. But I don't want to go overboard with the detail because I don't want this build to lag too much or make the neighborhood lag, which it probably will be doing when it's done. But um, yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay. Okay, indeed. Right. This tree is in the wrong spot now. I think I need to put the tree here in front of the house. Um, Now I want to... Maybe it, oh, it just hides the build. Like I would love to do that because of realism, but I hate the fact that it hides the build. But I'm going to do it anyway. going to do it anyway. And here, I think I'm going to make like a little stepping stone moment just around and put some like longer grass and stuff in there too. But for here, I think we need to go taller with the fence. I think we need to go taller with the fence around this bit where we're going to be putting the farm. And I think it would need to stick with... We'll, we need to stick with a white kind of theme just so it helps blend in the house area. Oh, yes, this will be nice. And can I just skirt that right in? Can I go like to there? Does that look weird? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, great. I thought that was going to look shit then. And it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I do. I kind of want to use this fence like um, in the front of the house. Let's try this together. We'd love to get a new fence, definitely. I mean, this is a great fence down here, but I'm thinking about just using that more ornate fence up at um, high heights, like on these bits. Yes. Yeah, I prefer that. I do. There's probably people out there like, no, but don't care. My build. Do what I like. <laughs> I just prefer the height of that around the front. It's a bit more private. Can we use you? No, you're a bit small. What's the fence that go the gate that goes with this one then? Um, let me find it. There we go, found it. It's in that lovely like powder blue color as well, so it kind of reflects on the house nicely. Yeah, I'm glad we went for a taller fence. I would imagine she's quite hot on security of this house as well. Um, so yeah, I'm glad we went for a taller fence. Anyway, we've got that mapped out. We've got that bit mapped out. I think we'll make a start on the courtyard area. So. I'm thinking of using a pagoda out here as well. I imagine with the um, the temperature of this, like, Strangerville, it's quite hot. It is quite hot, so they would need a pagoda to, pagoda to come under and just chill out as a family. And I don't think I'm going to do a dining room underneath of it. I think what I'm going to do... Or am I? Oh, come on. Just come in a swatch that isn't garish. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. I like that one. I might put it, where's that door? Oh, we can't do it there. So maybe I do need to flip it around this way and put it over the door. Oh, I'm for that. Oh, that's so cute. This is so cutesy. This is very much unlike me, this build, isn't it? But we're not building for me. We're building for Mama Rita and the kids. And they would be made up for that. I love that texture of that wood. It's almost like it's been whitewashed, like brushed. I love that. I want to see more of that in The Sims, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll go for that. Definitely. So my thoughts were I wasn't going to do a dining table underneath of here, but it kind of makes sense because it's straight off of the kitchen. This is going to be the kitchen. So it kind of makes sense to have an outdoor dining area, doesn't it? 
So that's what we're going to do. That, my loves, is what we're going to do. Um, Needs to be a big table. A big ass table. Maybe not dining. Oh, we'd like a farmhouse. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, yes. Yes, I think we'll go for this one. So I'm going to put a nice table there. Is that in the middle? You bet it's not. Let me see if that door's... Nope, that door's far away, which is lovely. And I think the chairs, maybe, would be these ones here. Hopefully, they come in a cute colour with the white. Uh, they kind of do. I just... Oh, that's better. Oh, that's moist. Yes. Very cute, see? So, an eight sim table. Stunning. Let me see that. Oh. Oh, I'm getting all the cute vibes from this. I really am. All the cute vibes. Yeah, I'm for that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, They would definitely need a barbecue area, but I'm not going to do like a big barbecue. I'm just going to use one of the smaller ones. I think one of the 1950s like looking ones. Where's that? There it is. But we'll do it in a, a pop of. Don't even need to say what we're going to do it in. You already knew what we were going to do it in. Little pop of yellow underneath there, darling. Stunning. Don't like the way that that is cutting into the wall there, but we can't do anything about it because Sims, my loves. Absolute Sims. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> and I think maybe doing a... I want like a family seating area, so it would be nice to have it quite central to do that. Hmm. And I think maybe using... We've, we haven't got any new garden furniture in a long time and what i mean by that is like sofas like I, the last time i saw this was the patio pack like can't we have more like this please sims team can we have some more stuff like this hmm? oh i don't like any of the swatches apart from that one yeah no it does go with a cutesy vibe it really does it definitely goes with a cutesy vibe. I'm just wondering. Do I want to like make it a bit more tight here? Giggity. That's like right by the stairs though. I don't like that. Don't like that position. So I'm going to pull it right back. To there. And is that enough space behind the door? It is. So I'm for it. And I think what I'll do here is... Mm. This looks weird in a minute. Just trust. Trust the version. Trust the version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is get a fence. White fence, I think. We're going to keep it very light. Very light aesthetic out here. Do a little bit of a trellis moment here. Like so. Like a saw. Like a saw. I like that. And stunning and everything's gorgeous and great. Right. And then behind this, I just think this is need something behind it. And my thoughts were by doing just maybe some ivy. Ivy or some of the things from um the eco pack, eco lifestyle. Was it this one? I'm sure it was. Decorations, plants, stunning. Oh, we could have used these. Oh, that would look great behind it. Yeah, I think I'll use these. I'll just do a few of these. Can I overlap them? Oh, you can. Oh, stunning. Well, we'll do that then. Right, and then I'm going to get rid of this now then. Okay, I'm going to boosh that out. Oh, God, I didn't carry that on to the end here. Oh, for goodness sake. Just give me... Give me the correct thing. Thank you. Still going to do a bit of trellis there. Looks nice. Um, I don't like the way that that looks really like stamped and copied. Is it different on the other side? Um, yeah. I I I was tweeted out on Twitter yesterday, and I'm going to ask you guys the same thing as well. Do you ever like? Yesterday I watched one of my favorite movies of all time. Um. And I always get that, like, really sad feeling after watching something that I love. Uh, I don't know what it is. It feels like nostalgia, like you miss it. And you, it makes you want to watch the movie again. The same thing with 
like games for me, like video games, like and books as well. Like when a really good book finishes, and like you just kind of sit on your sofa, like questioning your life. <laughs> that was me yesterday. I was like, eh. I really enjoyed that. The film in question as well, before anybody asks, was um, Still Magnolias with Julia Roberts, uh, Sally Field, Dolly Parton, like amazing major 80s movie. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a movie look so 80s in all my life. The hairstyles are absolutely hysterical. Um, as is most of the clothes. Like, but God, it's a good movie. Oh, it's a bloody good movie, that one. Right, and then I want a nice couple of tables. Nick, I could probably use these actually because they have got. Oh god, that looks good. Just on the edges here, just so they've got this little moment to put their drinks and stuff on. Maybe some candles, <gasps> like a candle in your minge. Now let's stop it, Aiden. Let's stop it. Yeah, do I want to do them on the edge as well? My voice then. Did you hear that? Do I want to do the bum the edge as well? <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that. Uh, um, yeah, but I think what I need to do is bring this back. Weirdly, I don't know why I'm feeling that. Let me see that. Yeah, I think that's better. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. We're going to leave it. I think they were too much on the edge here. I think just having two of the... T no, because I kind of like that. <laughs> We're leaving it. We're leaving it. It's happening. Can I use this big bad boy out here? Mm, no. Doesn't really suit the vibe. I mean, I could use... Ooh. Oh, that's cute. And don't you worry, we're going to be putting pride flags all over the show on this house. I know I've had a few people ask that. Are we going to be doing any pride flags? Of course we are. We're going to decorate the whole bloody house in it, love. So, yes. Yeah, no, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then lighting here. Lighting would be good. I could imagine some festoon lines going across here, actually. So, I may try it. But we always use the same ones. And it's because they're the nicest. But maybe I could use the ones from City Living instead. Have we got a plain white one? Do we have a plain white one? That is the question. Uh, let me find it. No, loves. I tried quite a few of the festoon lights and it just didn't look right. It just didn't. I don't know what it was. It was just not filling me with vibes. So I'm not going to go with it if I do not feel the vibes. And I wasn't. I was not feeling them. So we're not doing it. It's not happening. Sorry. Not happening. Right. Okay. Um, I think some lanterns maybe then. But I don't want to do them in white. I want to change the colours up a little bit now. We'll do a little green and blue moment over there and does this come in a pink i'm sure it does it does look a little pink and maybe a white next to it oh no like a little creamy gold color oh stunning one oh it's great do you know what i need to do i need to bring a bit more of that um this color here so i think we need to change this table sadly but let me just go in the coffee tables that way. It's much easier. Um, <clears throat> mm, I mean, this one here would look good out here because it looks quite plasticky as well. Oh, I don't hate that. I don't hate that one at all. I think that was the best one. And it's got like a pinky tone to it, isn't it? Let me just see that. Let me just see. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. It was just looking a little bit too white there. I just needed to kind of break it up a little bit. And I don't think we'll get a matching tone with this. Oh, oh, we do. Oh, yeah. Screw the white then. We're going to go for this color on the edge as well. Just to bring a little bit more of that to there. That's better. Oh, that softened it. Lovely, that has. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. And I think... We'll put a couple of plants up on these tables here. So, decorations, plantage. Um, so, just did a little bit of tweaking off, um, off camera. Just put a few more window boxes around. And I've just started to climb this, which kind of matches in with this on the side. The Bourganvillea. Bourg I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But I've just started to climb it around. And I'm thinking 
I may just climb a little bit. We'll put a planter down here and I think I'll climb a little bit around this area here. I don't think I'm going to do too much of it. Just a little smidgen. I don't want this. I wouldn't imagine this surviving much out in Strangerville because of the climate. But who can say? Maybe Bougainvillea do does survive in a moist climate. <laughs> a sticky climate. Sticky. No, stop it. <laughs> stop it, Aiden. <laughs> right, we'll put that bit up there. And then this bit here. We're going to flop you down here, love. And then one little cheeky bit like that. Stunning. One like that as well. Gorgeous. Oh, stunning. Ooh, oh, I like it. Oh, it makes me want to do more. I'm going to do some more. <laughs> I'm going to do some more. I think I'm going to climb some up on this bit actually as well. So I'm going to just move you. Smidgen all you in like this. But yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yes. And I will just wrap it around slightly just around here. Just for extra. Je ne sais quoi. You know. You just need a little bit of extra je ne sais quoi sometimes. And... <sighs> That's all I can say on it, to be honest. All I can say. Right. A couple of window boxes up here as well. I think I'm just going to do white ones. Yeah. White ones on either side there. <clears throat> Excuse you. Uh, uh. Thank you very much. And I think I need that big boy. I always need a big boy. Shut up. Moving on. And a couple of these big boys. <laughs> Underneath these windows here, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, this is very, very cutesy. Are those windows up higher? No, it's not. It's because of the um, platform, like the decking. Or the patio, we should call it now, because there's no decking in sight, love. I'm for this. This is definitely happening. Definitely happening. Okay. Oh. Yeah, why not? A couple of these. In fact, I'll do one there. Because I want to put lights on this side. Oh, God, just get down to that level. Right. And then, um, sorry, I hit my keyboard then. I was getting a bit salty, won't lie. And then what I'm going to do is flop on a bit more lighting here as well. Oh, Christ. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shoot off camera, chuck a bit more detail around because I really want to get onto the kind of farm area today. Like, I don't want you guys to miss out on that today. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck on some more details after I've put these lovely Victorian lamps out, if I can find them. Um, Oh, oh, they're bigger as well. Yeah, this is better. Bigger is better. Oh, Aiden, have some decorum, for goodness. Oh, cute. Um, oh, would they be better? Oh, no, they look good at the top of the door. Oh, I won't. Not there, though, because. Oh, that's the perfect spot for them there. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm just going to add in a few more details around this part. And then we're going to move on and do the kind of farm area to finish up today. Um, I mean, you still need to get this terrain paint doing and some landscaping and all sorts. But this house is massive. You know, what can I say? Right, give me two seconds. There we go. That's how I wanted it. I've added in some corbels. I've gone through with a few more plants here and there and put the planters underneath where the Bogavia is growing. And some doormats. Just got in some details, loves. Um, and I think it looks cool. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> it's not my um my um kind of style, as I've said, but this is not for me. Um I've also put a big gay sun lounger or a pool float um, because it just needs to happen in this place. It really does. So what we're going to do to kind of finish off today is I'm just going to make a start on this little like farming area. Um, I don't know if I want to use planters. I kind of do. And I'm just wondering if they got any colourful planters. I'm sure we had some kind of colourful planter. Oh, we do look. Oh, stunning. Oh, is it only pink? Very disappointed. What did these like the hydroponic one? Did they? Oh, keeps plants permanently hydrated. So they do do that. Well, we're, do, we're using these then because this is just going to be a, 
pain in the ass to try and water all of these plants. So maybe um maybe Mama Rita teaches the, all of the kids how to deal with hydroponics as well. You know, she's an iconic queen. What can you say? And if a few of you are like, how does she afford a place like this? My story is, I think she had a very popular binder company, um, which if you don't know what a binder is, um, it's for trans men that want to push down Exactly. So that's exactly what a binder does. Um, and it helps people feel comfortable in their skin, in their body. Um, and I reckon, yeah, I reckon Mama Rita had a very successful company in that. And she sold it. She sold the company off um, and gave all of her stock away to charity. Like, do you know what I mean? I think she's like that, that type of bitch. Really do. Okay, so we'll have a row of them. We'll have a row of them. And I think I'm going to do another row of them here. Just one there. Oh, one, two, and a three there. Okay. And I think I'm going to do two rows of the uh, vertical guard. Oh, I do want to do some honey, actually. I mean, uh, some beekeeping. Maybe she's all about... I would say, like, because um, this lot would be absolutely perfect for uh, a dog or a cat. But I reckon Mama Rita's got as much as she loves animals. I reckon she's got allergies. She's got allergies, so she can't have an animal in the house, sadly. Um, maybe one of the kids has got, like, a small rodent. I would probably see that for them. Oh, I don't know if I want to do a strip now. I think I'm just going to do them in a row there. I kind of like that. Oh, I do. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I'm going to give one of the kids maybe a, a small rodent or something. But I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to... Um, give him a dog or anything because she's very allergic. She sneezes. Imagine being... I'm so sorry to any of you out there that are allergic to, like, cats or dogs. Oh, God, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do if I was allergic to dogs. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> Blue's not very well either. He's got um something wrong with his eye. I don't know what it is yet. I've ordered him some eye drops. Um, that will be arriving tomorrow. So I've been bathing his eye in kind of a cold like tea compress just to like sort of calm it down slightly. I don't know if he's itched it or he's got like allergic to something. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Um, I've ordered him, as I said, some eye drops. They're like anti like fungal and um, they should help. They've got really good reviews as well. And... If it doesn't get any better, then I'm going to take him to the vets. But I'm sure he'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be fine. Dogs can pull through things very easily. I like how that looks. I'm thinking this is going to be a nice stepping stone area. So I'm going to use those great, these here. I think these would look great all the, all around. So just give me two seconds while I whiffle these everywhere because it would be very boring for you to watch this. Scratch that idea. We've done it too much lately. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to use this stone back here. But... To make this area all patio because it's like got no soil apart from in the actual sort of planters themselves it doesn't really need to doesn't really need to have grass here really um so i'm going to use this here let's get the square one going shall we all the way across stunning stunning i've done this many times before using the two um terrain paints together this one here and then the what the sister one that goes with it. And then I always just bring it down, soften it up slightly, and then go on the crevices and let the grass kind of creep through, which I just love. I wish there was more terrain paints like this, like sister terrains, if you know what I mean. They kind of go together, which allows you to get really creative. I love terrain painting. It's very nice. Very nice. One of my favorite things to do. One of my favourite things to do in The Sims, building, anyway. Really is. But you see, that's just gave it a little bit of character now. And I'm for that. Really am. Absolutely for it. Okay. All around here as well. Stunning. Going to put in one of these, like, planting stations, I think. Maybe here along here, all the potting stations. Um, Or maybe under the window. No, we'll put it there. I think that it will suit there a bit better. I really do. Just going to bring that softness down, actually, and make it a little bit more harsher. Oh, stunning. Uh, stunning. 
and all underneath the fence as well. Stunning. Everything's stunning today. It's a very, very stunning day today, Jim. Very, very stunning day. <laughs> Why do you watch me? <laughs> Why do you watch me? <laughs> oh, my lord. I'm thankful that you do. Thank you very much. But just why? <laughs> right. Is it called Potting Station? No. Oh, what are you called then? This object is such a shit to find. So let me let me go and find it. There we go. I found it. This is kind of the only matching vibe that we've got. I don't mind that. I kind of like it how it is. Still need to do some more details here. So feel free to throw some ideas at me. What do you think we should put in... Or what do you think we've missed in the garden? What do you think else we should put in? I'm going to do all of the terrain painting um, and a bit more landscaping off of recording. So you'll see that tomorrow. And then out the front here, we definitely... I, oh, no, that would be the perfect place for that. We're going to put the washing line here. I was just saying, I really want a washing line. And it kind of makes sense. It's near the kitchen, sort of, maybe. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, so I'm going to put the washing line here. It's right at the front of the house. Um, which might look a little bit weird. I maybe, oh, I can put it down here and maybe do an access out here from the kitchen. Oh, I might do that. Might do that instead. I think we'll put the washing line around here then. Yeah, we'll do that. But to leave on a lovely note, I know that they've got a pride mailbox. And there she is, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binary friends. Look at her. Look at you. Being all gay with your bad self. I'm for it. Really am. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, yeah, we are finished. Not like finished, finished, obviously. But I want to do some more things. I need to do some more details in there. I don't know what yet. Yeah, maybe need a, a bit more flowers. But I think the back garden, this area is kind of done. Um, And we'll deal with the balconies and stuff when we get to the bedrooms that we're doing. Oh, God, look at that fence there. Silly. Um... So we'll get to that as they come, I think. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like coming along quite nicely. This house is going to be massive to build. But I'm going to do all of the landscaping to, um, off of recording. And I'll do a big tour of it tomorrow. But um, yeah, done. There we go, my loves. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. And thank you for sharing your sims i have gone through every single sim on the gallery and read all their stories it's amazing we'll get a couple more into the house tomorrow and we'll crack on we'll probably move into the interior a bit tomorrow um yeah i think we will i think we'll stop moving into the interiors so be on the lookout for it um but as i said i'm live on twitch tonight come and see me 7 p.m bst if not i will see you tomorrow in the next video goodbye